Good morning, good afternoon, and, and good, good evening. evening. Welcome to our Monday devotion, and our topic is Jesus, I, I need, need you. you. And yung subtopic is quiet, quiet moment, moment. Pa yes. Okay. Kamusta po kayo? We hope that you're doing good. And ano man ang sitwasyon sa buhay, remember that God is always good. Amen? Amen. Let us pray. Manalangin po tayo. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we thank you for this day, another day na binigay mo sa amin. We are forever grateful sa pag-ibig mo sa amin, Panginoon. And yes, Lord, once again, we acknowledge that we need you. Amen. We need your grace, your mercy, Lord God. Thank you so much, Lord God. And Lord, again, we ask that you will teach us today as we listen to your words today, Father, through our Monday devotion. We yes. thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 So again, the title of our devotion is Jesus, I Need You with a subtitle, Quiet Moment. So let's begin. The more Isaiah saw God, the more Isaiah realized his sin and how much he was just like the world around him. Isipin natin yun, no? Ito Elijah, isang prophet of God. Mm -hmm. But when he was in the presence of God, sabi niya, he realized his sin and how much he was just like the world around him. Mm -hmm. Now, to admit that parang, hindi ka naman totally katulad ng mundo, pero mm -hmm. to admit na meron ka mga bagay sa buhay mo na baka mundo pa rin, mm -hmm. you know, is a humble thing to do, although isang prophet siya. And so we need to realize that ganun din tayo. Marami yes. pa mga bagay sa buhay natin na makamundo pa rin. Because mm -hmm. we're growing by faith to faith, glory to glory, into His image and likeness. Let's read on. Mm -hmm. His heart so broken and so grieved, He cries out to God in anguish. Isaiah felt like nothing in the presence of the most holy God. He was undone. When Isaiah saw God more for who He was, it brought him down. Mm -hmm. He was humbled. Will you follow Isaiah's example? Going deeper. When we humble ourselves before the Lord and draw near to our God who is with us, He does a miraculous work in our hearts. When we bow before the Lord, low in humility, He comes near and saves. A broken and contrite heart, O God, you will not despise, according mm -hmm. to Psalm 51 verse 17. And it says here, read Isaiah chapter 6, verse 6 to verse 13. So I encourage you to go ahead and read that. Asking the Lord to speak to your heart. So when you read that, ask the Lord to speak to your own heart. Mm -hmm. What does God do in response to Isaiah's confession and repentance? And what is Isaiah's response? What is yours? So I'm question here, what does God do in response to Isaiah's confession? Ano ba ang naging response ng uh, ng Diyos, mm -hmm. yung time na nag-confess si Isaiah ng kanyang mga kasalanan. Tapos yun, the question is, what is Isaiah's response? Ano naging response naman ni Isaiah? And the third question here is, what is your response? I want to look at Isaiah's response in verse 8 of Isaiah chapter 6. Mm -hmm. It says here, I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send and who will go for us? Then I said, sabi ni Isaiah, here I am, send me. So after Isaiah repented, ang naging response ng Diyos, he was looking for someone, basically, tinitignan niya kay si Isaiah kung sasagot siya. Sabi niya, who shall I send and whom will go for me? Ang sagot naman ni Isaiah, then I said, here I am, send me. So yan ang naging response ni Isaiah. I want to how to look at David's response in Psalm chapter 51, which it was mentioned in dito sa ating devotion. But I want to read verse 13. After David um, confessed his sin of adultery and murder, he said, Then I will teach your transgressors, transgressors your ways, and sinners will return to you. So basically, nakita natin dito, si Isaiah and David had basically the same response. When they realized their sin, humingi sila ng tawad sa Diyos, after they asked for forgiveness, they responded to the call of God to be a preacher of the gospel of truth. Mm -hmm. So naging preacher sila. They shared it to many sinners. Alam mo, minsan tayo, no, pag, ako personally, when I experience something, whether that's 
a good thing or good food, mm -hmm. ayoko na ako lang nakakaranas na magandang experience. I want other people to experience, experience. it. Yes, that's and I, I, I know I'll, I'll tell my family na you need to taste this or you need to go there kasi maganda yung lugar, masarap yung pagkain. Mm -hmm. Ganun ang ginawa ni David at ni Isaiah. After their experience and encounter with God, his forgiveness, walang, ano, uh, ay gusto, gusto nila na ishare sa ibang tao. Mm -hmm. Kaya sabi ni David, then I will teach, forgive me, cleanse me, then I will teach trans transgressors your ways mm -hmm. and sinners will return to you. Kung ano nangyari sa akin, naramdaman ko, yan din ishishare ko sa iba. At ganun din ang magiging buhay nila that they will also return to you. Mm -hmm. Let's read Tama. on. Do you feel numb, apathetic, or indifferent? Confess that to the Lord just as Isaiah confessed his condition. So kung ano man ang condition nyo, confess nyo kay Lord. Mm -hmm. Lay your wooden heart or your hardened heart before the Lord and ask Him to bring it to life again. Yes. Read Isaiah chapter 12 verse 1 to 6 and Psalm chapter 51. Open your heart to God and allow His Spirit to search your heart and then confess your sin to God. The reflection and prayer is, will you preach the gospel to yourself? Unang-una sa sarili natin. And then will you remind yourself daily to pick up your cross? Take time now to bow before your merciful shepherd, admitting your sin and confessing your need for the mighty Savior. Then taking yes. the truth to the heart and bringing it to life. Choose one truth from today and apply it to your heart. Take it with you throughout the day. Mm -hmm. So, unang una, you know, we have been talking about the confession of sins. We have been talking about uh, exposing our heart to God and allow Him to show us the condition of our heart. Ito exactly yung sinasabi ng ating devotion yes. today mm -hmm. once again. And so, sa akin talaga, uh, you know, when this happens, this, ganito yung, ano, uh, this is church growth. This mm -hmm. is what will we'll re uh, result in the church expanding and growing. It will result in people coming to the Lord. Talaga, pag na-experience mo yung, yung forgiveness ng Lord, oh, it's yeah. so good that you can't help but tell others. That's yeah. now. Yes. You know, God is never asking us na tayo mismo ang maglilinis ng ating mga kasalanan. Kasi hindi, alam ni Lord na hindi natin kaya. Mm -hmm. That's why, sabi niya, return, rend your heart. So, Amen. Come as you are, palagi natin ito naririnig. Yung puso natin, kung ano man ang nariyan, dalhin natin sa Panginoong Diyos. And, and God will, ano, is the one that will cleanse us from all unrighteousness, from all things na hindi dapat naroon sa ating mga puso. Kaya sabi ni David, ano yun, in Psalms uh, 51, in verse 17, sa bandang baba, I mean, Sabi niya dun, the sacrifices of God are broken spirit and a broken and contrite heart. Mm -hmm. So, broken, ibig sabihin, nakabukas yung ating puso na wala tayong itinatago. And contrite heart, nagpapakumbaba. Come as you are. Mm -hmm. Na hindi tayo nagmamataas na, Lord, uh, puso ko to. Lord, malinis ako. Hindi, contrite heart. Mapagkumbabang puso. And sabi dun, and God, you will not despise. Mm -hmm. Hindi po ito tatanggihan ng Panginoong Diyos. So, gaano mang karumi ang ating puso. And even, sabi dun, wooden heart or stone heart, come, lapit pa rin tayo sa Panginoong Diyos. Kasi alam naman ni Lord na tumigas ang ating puso, naging parang bato, naging parang kahoy. Pero dalhin natin and allow the Lord to revive us to give us a heart of, of bless. Ibig sabihin, Amen. muli niya tayong bibigyan ng buhay sa ating mga puso. Amen. And that's how God uh, is willing to forgive us, is willing to cleanse us, is willing to revive us. Amen. Napakaganda. Amen. And minsan niniisip natin, aayusin ko muna yung puso ko, uh, gagawin ko muna to. Malinis. Hindi. <laughs> hindi talaga natin kayang dinisin, mm -hmm. hindi natin kayang ayusin ang ating mga puso. And that's why God is calling us Return to me, rend your heart, mm -hmm. open your heart, bring your heart to me. And yun ang sac sacrifices na hinihingi ng Panginoong Diyos. A broken, a contrite heart. Amen. So magpakumbaba po tayo sa harapan. Amen. God will not despise. Amen. And when we experience the forgiveness, the healing power of the Lord Jesus, and then see si Isaiah sabi niya, Lord, here I am, use me. 
Kanina sabi niya, ang dumi ko, ang dumi ng aking bibig. Mm-hmm. I am a sinner. Pero when God ano, turn around that situation, nagkaroon siya ng willingness. And that comes from the Lord. Mm-hmm. Sa ginawa ni Lord sa ating mga puso. Amen? Amen. So napakaganda. Amen. Anong, anong pakiramdam mo, ano, Arnel, pag uh, yung uh, kunyari, naglinis ka ng bahay o nag uh, whatever, yung na uh, pinawisan ka, mm-hmm. nadumihan ka, tapos naligo ka, anong pakiramdam mo? Ah, Siyempre, malinis na malinis. Ah, press kong press kong press ko, no? <laughs> na gusto mong humarap kahit kanino. <laughs> eh, pag ganun din sa spiritual, eh. di ba? Ganun Uh-oh. din sa spiritual eh. Yes. If you're walking around with a unclean heart, mm-hmm. ang bigat eh. Bigat, diba? oh. Pero pag ano, pag wash ka ng Diyos, you have a clean heart, uh, light yung feeling mo, mm-hmm. kahit kanino Sarap ka humarap, di ba? Mm-hmm. Wala, wala kang issue eh. Yeah. Ang linis mo eh. I mean, mm-hmm. hindi ka naman malinis sa sariling uh, uh, pam- paraan. Oh, oh, yeah. Di ba? Nilinis ka ng Diyos. So, ang sarap ng pakiramdam. Biro mo, nililiguan tayo ng Diyos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Naalala ko yun ano, dito sa Psalm 51. It's an old song sang by uh, Keith Green, Created Me a Clean Heart of God. Mm-hmm. One of my favorite old-time Christian songs, and it goes like this. Create in me a clean heart, O God, Yes. and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, O Lord. Take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of my salvation and renew a right spirit within me. Mm-hmm. You know, renew yes. a right spirit, create in me a clean heart. Pastor yeah. uh, you know what I like, David, Patungul ki David, is of course he confessed his sin Amen. and then he repented, siempre. But one thing that I notice about David. Alam niya kung saan pupunta. Mm-hmm. Alam niya kung saan nagbumula yung mga bagay na nawala sa kanya. Mm-hmm. The joy, yeah. the strength, yung restoration. yung restoration. Alam niya kung saan pupunta. And there's no other way. Hindi niya hindi niya sinabi na ay kailangan ano uh, ayusin ko lalayo muna ako sa Diyos. Baka doon sa lugar na yan maayos ko yung sarili ko. Baka doon ko matagpuan ulit yung sarili ko, yung joy. No. Alam niya kung saan matatagpuan ang mga bagay nito. And Amen. walang iba kundi sa Panginoong Diyos. He went to the Lord. And that's the thing na dapat nating gawin. Come to God. Amen. There's no other way. There's no other person na pwede nating lapitan para ma- ma-regain natin yung, yung, yung identity natin, yung worthiness natin. Sa Lord pa rin tayo lalapit. Amen. And that's what happened sa kay David. Alam niya kung saan pupunta. Ganun din si Isaiah. Si Isaiah. Kay Lord siya lumapit. Dapat ganun po ang gawin natin. Lapit po tayo sa Panginoong Diyos. Huwag po tayong tatakbo sa Kanya. Huwag po tayong lalayo sa Kanya. Ano man ang ating nararamdaman ngayon. Come to the Lord. God is calling us into His loving arms. Napakaganda ng Panginoong Diyos. Amen. So, so yun lang, Pastor Arnel. Mm-hmm. So, yep. At this time, I hope that you know we all learn something. I believe we are because this is basically the same message that we have been sharing Sunday. We're going to close in prayer and just receive this message into your heart in Jesus' name. Amen. Remember, we are all uh, a product or isang bagay na patuloy na ginagawa ng Panginoong Diyos Amen. sa ating buhay Amen. ay yung kanyang pagbabago na nais niyang maranasan natin. We are all a work in progress. Amen. So don't be discouraged. And maaaring ngayon na discourage kayo dahil nagkamali ulit, nagkasala ulit. The Bible says to confess your sin. He is Amen. faithful and just to forgive us. Amen. Patuloy po tayong lumapit sa Kanya. Until na ang Lord na maghari na sa ating puso at isipan. Until the day na tawagin niya na tayo. And in that place, patuloy nating maranasan ang fullness ng Kanyang kalwalatian. Amen. Let us pray. You, Father, we thank you for your goodness and for your mercy. Yes, Lord. We thank you, Lord God, that you're always there willing to forgive us and to cleanse us from all yes, Lord unrighteousness. Jesus. Lord, nakita po namin sa mga salita mo, Panginoong Diyos, mga prophets mo, mga servant mo, Lord God, na nagkasala. Amen. Nakita nila yung karumihan nila. And they went to you, Lord God. And you are able to forgive and cleanse them, yes, Lord God. Lord. 
So ganun din po kami, Panginoong Diyos. Lumalapit po kami sa yes. Jesus mo. And cleanse us from all our iniquities, yes. our yes. sins. Yes. Yung aming mga kasalanan, Panginoon. And we thank you that you are able to cleanse us, Lord God. We thank you for the power of the blood of yes. Jesus na kaya kaming linisin sa anumang kasalanan namin nagawa, Panginoon. Yes, Lord and Lord, just like Isaiah and David, Lord, gamitin mo ang aming buhay yes, Lord. to tell Amen. others about your goodness, yes, Lord, of your loving kindness, Panginoon, Diyos, that you are willing to relent and not punish, Lord God. And yes, Lord God, merong uh, correction, merong discipl- discipline, merong rebuke, Lord God, but Saka, sa lahat ng ito, Panginoong Diyos, nandun ang pag-ibig mo sa amin, Panginoon. Yes, Father, we thank you. Thank you Again, we give you glory, we give you honor and praise, Lord God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen and amen. amen. And God, God bless CRC, God bless, God bless the Philippines, and God, God bless Olongapo. God bless you all, and again, have a great week. See you Wednesday night, see mm-hmm. you Sunday. Alright, bye-bye. Mm-hmm.